This video will show us how phenothiazine is synthesized. At present, the use of phenothiazine has virtually disappeared. Phenothiazine were used as insecticides up to the onset of DDT. The most famous derivatives of phenothiazine are promethazine, which is used in pharmacology as an antihistamine and antipsychotic, and clopromazine, a very powerful sedative. Currently, the most widely used phenothiazine is methylene blue, which is used for microscopic coloring, antiseptic and healing. Phenothiazine is produced by heating a mixture of diphenylamine, sulfur and aluminum chloride. To obtain phenothiazine, we mix in a 100 ml flask. 11 g diphenylamine. 4 g sulfur. 1.6 grams of anhydrous aluminum chloride. Apply a magnetic stir to stir the molten mixture. We connect the flask outlet with the smoke outlet using a tube. In this process, highly poisonous hydrogen sulfide is produced. Heat the mix in a silicon or oil bath to 140 to 150 degrees. First, white smoke is visible. If the mixture melts and does not foam, we raise the temperature to 160 degrees. Warm to this temperature until the aluminum chloride has completely dissolved in the melted mixture. Once dissolved, heat approximately 20 minutes longer and let cool. The mixture solidifies to a mass of black color. We break up with the spatula and add 40 milliliters of water. We heated at reflux for 30 minutes and filtered the water through a filter paper. We save the filter paper for the next process and dispose of the filtered water. 60 milliliters of ethanol was added to the flask and reflux for 20 minutes. Filter hot through the filter paper used to separate the water and repeat this operation until all the solid in the flask is diluted. Chill the solution in the fridge for 12 hours. Collect the solid by suction and wash two times with a bit of cold ethanol. Dissolve the resulting solid into 150 milliliters of hot ethanol. Filter hot to separate the solid that is not soluble in ethanol. Refrigerate the filtrate. Collect the crystals by suction and wash twice with cold ethanol. After drying in a 60 degree kill, greenish yellow crystals were produced. We determine the melting point. The phenothiazine melts at 185 degrees and that obtained in my test was between 180 and 190 degrees with a very slow fusion.
you may need an additional crystallization to make it purer. 